Welcome to Shara's Fab. Okay, I got a Ross and Dollar Tree haul. Let's start with Dollar Tree. All right. Now, I wanted one of these mini houses for the little dolls that I have. Um, and I'll show the picture of the one I was going to get. Amazon a mini house I don't know if the um, this is what it comes with it includes a house bed couch two chairs uh, TV stand table cabinet two dolls um, and look at the little bitty dolls they're they're little and basically I wanted it for these guys that I have purchased you know that they can uh, I can build around them and they can play they can play with them. So I got this um, Chelsea Club doll um, to play with them. And I got this little guy. I didn't get these from the dollar store. I got these from Amazon. And I got this little guy. But I wanted to build around, you know, their bedrooms and around them. And I'm going to use this dollar store house to uh, for them to play with. Um, so I kind of wanted that, but I'll show the picture of the one that I was going to get from Amazon, which was like $8 or so, but, um, I got this doll house, uh, for the dolls to play with. So, but that's what, that's the first thing I got and can never go wrong. I finally found the toilets, finally found the toilets. I got a couple of these, three to be exact. So let's just, um, I'll just use this, this doll as, you know, as an example, you know, they can get away with sitting on it. Um, let's just put her there and then it lifts up so I can, I'm going to cover that with some blue, um, no backing on it, but the, the toilet does lift. I mean, I can spray paint these if I want to, um, or just paint over that like silver and just have that. And then, like I said, cover this with a piece of blue water paper or some blue paper to make it seem like, um, that's inside of the toilet. But so I got those and those are, like I said, always good to have. If you hear my grandkids and the dogs barking, please ignore it. It's just a part of my life. All right, so I got that. Now the next thing is also something I want. Now these, I got a couple of the tubs. Now these are not Barbie sized, but I thought they would make good pictures for the kids. Um, the Barbie size, they're a little bit bigger than they need to be. Um, this is a opposable Barbie, but let me grab opposable Barbie. You know, she can get in there, but it's not, I mean, it's more for show than anything. But I thought they would be cute for the kids. Um, they can fit the kids. But it's really hard to make um, tubs. So for a buck, I got a couple of those. And then the other thing that I got was another hole punch. I have a hole punch somewhere. I just don't know where I put it. And I have various hole punches and, and things like that. But this is the dot jot hole punch. And let's see how strong it is. See if it'll go through this paperboard. All right, got that, and it holds it in. There we go. So that's another thing I got. And then the last 
two items that I was able to find were these chairs. Now, uh, it came two in a pack. And from my understanding, um, you can spray paint them. You can spray paint them or keep them the color that they are. But you knowing me, I'll probably spray paint them. And let's see how they fit a posable Barbie. Not bad. Not bad. For a dollar, not bad at all. I mean, it's not perfect, but for a dollar to get a chair, not bad. So that's what I got from the dollar store. Four chairs. And like I said, I can paint them so you'll be seeing them. Um, possibly. No, and I went to Ross and got a couple of things. This is the only Barbie that I found at the Ross that I went to. She was $5.99 and I got her mainly because I do like her face. I do like her face. Um, but she's not, you know, a posable Barbie of course. Of course, it's not articulated uh, well, but to get like a little bracelet and to get um, these silver shoes and look at this dress just for the outfit alone is worth it. Let's see. Let's take her. Let's um, take her hair out of this. Try to cut it out. Let's see if I can do that without cutting her hair. Because they have her hair kind of tied in. Alright, so I got her hair. She's got a little box hair. But, um, she's got a little of the box hair. But I thought the dress was cute. Um, the outfit is cute with the accessory. It velcros up in the back. She just has um, pretty good articulation. Her head can go around and around. She just up and down and around and around with the shoulders. Um, she can sit straight legged. Um, no underwear or anything like that with her. But I thought the dress was cute I thought this whole um, outfit was cute and like I said I do like her face I might rebody her just for her face alone very cute she's got that dimple but the accessories to me were worth the $5.99 nice little silver pink dress with the bow on it I probably can get rid of that bow it's just um the bow is um sold on so i probably can get rid of that bow if i wanted to but i thought it was worth it just for the shoes and the the watch bracelet alone and then i found something at a very good price at ross um 7.99 it's a double pack of the mini brand uh, mystery balls so let's see what we can get in here you know there's a lot of possibilities they got the plastic on us outside they have a hundred and plus mini brands and so we'll see what we'll get inside we got first layer of plastic off now here's the other layer press plastic off okay all right So we have five 
things to open. So let's just pull the first tab out. And this actually has the collector's guide that shows you the different things you can get. A lot of household food brands. So let's see what we get. I mean, what would I like to get? Like the shaving creams. I would like to get the shaving creams. Uh, I would like a lot of toiletries. Some food items would be nice as well. But uh, some of the toiletries is what I would want more than anything. First thing I got is a Horm Hormel Chili. And that's pretty big when you put it with her. That's pretty big. So the scale isn't necessarily Barbie scale. But, I mean, it could be used in cabinets and things like that. Here's some super sour. I guess these are airheads. And then I could always change it to make it something that I want it to be. You know, just change the label. Then I got a, looks like a shopping cart or a basket. It's a basket and it tells you how to put it together. So it's a shopping basket, which I kind of like. I think I might be able to use that in different ways. The this thing. Oh, something I wanted. It is, um, a, looks like a tanning lotion. This looks like a tanning lotion. I like that. But, I mean, even the scale still seems to be really huge to Barbie. But, you know, maybe good background stuff. All right, I got one more to open. Okay, I got one more to open up. And it looks like it's a shaving cream for men I like that it's about the same size as the tanning lotion which I like all right so the next ball so I got four items five items there uh, a, a carton for um, one food item two food items and um, two toiletries. So good background stuff. So let's just get the other one open. Take the first layer off. Okay, let's get this open. So we got the five and I want to use these for shelves as well so I haven't done that I've seen that done um, but I haven't done it tried it yet so let's you know look forward to that in the future oh here's some little like bacon bits good items to put in the pantry and refrigerator and then some Skippy natural cream Skippy now these are huge next to Barbie huge too big but I can use them as good background items I mean I wish there were more to the scale of Barbie and then this is a what is this it looks like a shelf yeah it's a shelf Yes, it's a shelf. So let me separate that. Put that over there. All right. I got two more to open up. Come on, toiletry items or something that's more fit it to the side. Oh, I got one of these big old soy sauces. So just the, the, the size is just too big for Barbie. But I can always use them. Um, and then here's the last one, a spam light. These are huge, but they might be good for, like I say, background. 
Um, then I got another collector's guide. Let me put these shelves and baskets together. Okay, so I got the baskets all put together. Um, you know, the scale is really off on these products. Um, it's really cute, though. Um, like I said, they're good to be able to use for background scenes and things like that. But I like this basket because um, it can be used for many... Oh, one of the things popped off. There we go. So, um, I can use this basket for a lot of different things within uh, my dioramas and background things. But, you know, that's the scale it is with her. So that pretty work, that pretty much works in my opinion. Um, the shelf scale is really small. I might use that for one of the kids' rooms. Um, the shelves do move in and out. Uh, a little bit see they do come out some they go in and then they do come out um, but I probably use this more for um, not for a shelf for these items because the items are in my opinion pretty large for that it had the stickers I didn't use as well but all in all I'm pretty happy with my dollar store and Ross items that I found um, I hope you like them if you see something you like just let me know, um, or if you want any more details on what I got, just let me know. Um, but that's it for today. Um, live long and prosper. Um, bye.